Air Cat, home of brilliant children's books. Meow! Hello and welcome to another exciting episode. And today I'm going to be reviewing Hetty Feathers Christmas. So this is after Clover Moon's book, which you probably saw me um, doing last. Now it's Hetty Feathers Christmas, so it's back to her. Now this is the this is the past because, as you know, I've been doing other Hetty Feather books, which was from the beginning to the end of the other books. But then it still carries on with Clover Moon, and then Hetty Feathers Christmas. So I'm going to read the blurb. It's Christmas Day at the Foundling Hospital and Hetty Feather receives an unexpected present but Hetty's delight sparks jealousy which soon turns to trouble and dreaded matron Bottomley is thrilled to exclude Hetty from the Christmas fest festivities. Poor Hetty is distraught but, it, but, it, but just when it seems that all is lost a dear friend arrives to whisk her away from a Christmas like no other. Full of friendship, full of fun, festive cheer is a perfect gift of a Christmas story. So, this is the past when Hattie Feather was still in the family hospital and it's also got different characters. So, uh, as you know, um, Clover Moon was the previous one. Now it's Hetty Feather. So it says that um, Matron is thrilled to actually exclude her from the Christmas festivities. And that's not good. So it starts with Hetty Feather gets a gift. I'm not going to say what it is because I think it's best not to. But I'll say it is from her mother, Ida who sadly had left the hospital because they found out who she really was and you'll have to read the first book to find out. So, well, actually it's the second book. <laughs> so basically, Hetty Feather is in the family hospital, it's Christmas Day, and some fight, like, some mischief happens. But I'm also going to introduce the characters. So at the beginning, there's Sheila, Hetty's feather sworn enemy, and there's obviously Hetty herself, and Matron Bottomley. So they're all in the three parts at the beginning of the story. And also, um, as it says in the, in the blurb, Hetty gets whisked away to, to have a better Christmas. And, well, as you know, Matron Bottomley isn't a very nice matron. And she locks Hetty in a cupboard. Now, there's more characters coming in this. I'm going to say who they are. So, if you've read the Clover book, you would know that there was some characters that were there. They're, like, sort of in the end of the Clover book story. But I'm not going to mention them, just in case you haven't read it. So, basically, um, Miss Smith, Hetty's Feather's um, post um, woman for like post letters for her mum. Basically, Miss Smith is a friend to Hetty, and she takes Hetty away from the awful founding hospital and takes her to a bet to have better Christmas. So, because Matron Bottomley made out made like her miss all the 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 like Christmas dinners and all that. So Hetty Feather would have been really hungry. I also forgot to mention at the start that she has a sister Eliza. Now Eliza is Hetty's foster sister. As you know Hetty was born in a foster family so she has foster brothers and foster sisters. And Eliza was is a lot younger than Hetty she's only little and um, she was a baby when Hetty Feather was um, in her foster family. So Eliza is a lovely kind girl who loves her big sister very much and well 
there's other parts in that but maybe I shouldn't quite mention them yet just in case you haven't read all the books coming before this book so basically Eliza is a lovely kind sister who when Hetty's locked in a cupboard or awful cupboard she comes to visit her and gives her a present so that's not the only present Hetty would be receiving then than her first present so um Miss Smith, um, as I said, gets her away from the horrible family hospital. And Miss Smith doesn't like how Matron treats all the family girls, Matron Bottomley and all the other matrons. But there is also a very kind Miss, Miss Winterson. Now, um, she, she tells the governors that she doesn't like the way that the founding people are treating but the governors think that Matron is a really good matron and they don't really know how she really acts with the founding children. Now Miss Smith gets Hetty away from all those awful problems and well gives her a nice Christmas instead. Now as you can see is a boy peeping out there. Now that comes on like later on in the story and it also says in the back let me tell you about one extra special Christmas. Like I said Hetty gets a much better Christmas than spending time in that horrid Birmingham hospital. So I'm also going to say that Clover comes in this and I think as you saw that Clover becomes a servant in the end. Um, but yes Basically, she, she, you know Mr. Rivers, I've told you about him in the, in the Clover series book. Um, Hetty actually meets him in his house and she spends a, a Christmas time. Miss Smith is invited to the Rivers' house and she meets all sorts of people there. Now, there's a book coming up after this book. Um called Rose Rivers. I didn't bring it up. I think I should have, but I um, didn't. And I've only just started reading that because I basically only just finished read Oops. reading this book. Um, so it's, it's, it's back to Hetty's like, past. Um, this is definitely after Clover Moon because it, it says on the internet. Now, Hetty is a lovely girl very bright and very bold so um she gets a nice christmas with the rivers maybe plays some festive games and has lovely food and well miss smith is a guest and she also brings hattie as a guest with her too and later on hattie meets clover there so i think that's all i'm gonna tell you now i would probably give this book five like actually well I think I think it might be five stars because I mean I, it was like a little tiny series of this book really and um, I might actually give it five stars as well because I think it was really good I enjoyed it I liked reading it all about Hetty's feather it's a nice it's, this is like a, a sort of like a really short book it may not seem short but the pages are a bit thicker i give it five stars and i really hope you enjoy the book too don't forget to like subscribe and click the bell and you'll never miss another episode see you later bye <music>